these legendary NFL player sons are going to be taking over the game. We're at this very interesting time where a lot of the NFL greats that we grew up watching are now having sons that are coming up in the high school ranks. And so today I want to take a look at four high school recruits whose dads are all just absolute NFL legends and see what they're looking like and see if they can, you know, live up a little bit to their father's father's legacy. So sit back and relax as we take a look at these four NFL legend sons and see what they're looking like on the gridiron. Three, two, one. Starting it off, do you guys remember the dominant Bears linebacker Brian Erlacher, the dude who was out there just taking everybody's heads off? Well, this is his son Kennedy Erlacher. He is a three-star safety coming out of the state of Arizona, and he's going to be playing his college football at Notre Dame. Showing off the wheels a little bit, he's about he's 5'11", 190 pounds, so he's definitely more of that safety build than his dad was a linebacker. But hey, let, let's see what he's looking like on the field. Let's see if he's got that same hidden power. Oh yeah, he's definitely still got that same hidden power. Let's go. Okay. Oh, and then dropping back. Thank you. That's a duck of an interception, but hey, we'll take all those. There you go. Hey, way to break that up. So far, this guy, my, my guy Kennedy is just a flat out disruptor. Way to, way, to, way to just be patient and sit on that. I like how much with how much tenacity that he comes downfield. I want to see him work a little bit more on that first step quickness as far as the second that he sees that really jumping out there and going and getting after it. But other than that, I mean, this kid, he's definitely got a lot of upside. And I think he has a promising career at uh, Notre Dame. Sit down. Now going from one Hall of Famer's son to another Hall of Famer's son, this is the son of all-time great stealer, Jerome Bettis. This is his son, Jerome Bettis Jr. If you guys, you guys should all remember Jerome Bettis. That dude was an absolute workhorse for these Steelers. This is his son. He is a six foot three, 100, oh, give me that. Yeah, a six foot three, 190 pound wide receiver. And he's in the class of 2025. So he's still, he's going into his senior year right now. Just throw it up. Oh, that's easy. That's easy. Still got to go out and extend it and go get that, though. Let's go. By the way, my favorite number as a wide receiver is number eight. Number four is very cold, though. I'm not going to lie. Number four is a cold number to be wearing as a wide receiver. Thank you. Great. I, I love the extension on that catch. Also, while Kennedy Erlacher is going to Notre Dame, it looks like Brian Erlacher Jr. Oh, or not Brian Erlacher, Uh, My guy, Jerome Bettis Jr. Also looks like he's going to be going to Notre Dame. This kid, this kid looks like he's a red zone threat. Like, just a flat-out red zone specialist. You throw it up to him, and he's coming down with it no matter what. All right, good to see him on defense as well. Read that, and uh, thank you. We're going the other way with that. We're going the other way. Yep, thank you. Yeah, my guy, Jerome Venice Jr., this kid, hey... He's got some upside. You can see that he just plays a lot. He plays and fills out his frame very well. I mean, just he's a. I think this guy's gonna be a great possession wide receiver. A guy that you know you're gonna be throwing four slants across the middle to a game, and he's gonna come down with all of them for a first down. And he's big enough to be able to get hit by some of those linebackers. And now we have the son, this one's a little bit sad, but we have the son of former Bengal great wide receiver, Chris Henry. This is kids Chris Henry Sr. Now we're gonna be taking a look at Chris Henry Jr.'s highlight tape. This kid, he is living way up to his dad's name. He is the number one wide receiver in the class of 2026. So out of all sophomore wide receivers, he's the number one guy. He's six foot four as a sophomore. Like this kid is going to be a massive star and he's already committed to Ohio State as a sophomore. So we all know that Ohio State's wide receiver. You, oh, what a route. Do you see how just, uh, gets, gets space to the outside and uh, just break that down. Dude, had that corner lost. Yeah, Chris Henry Jr., this kid, he can flat out run some beautiful routes. Give me that. Give me that! Just going up and getting it. He wanted it more. 
Yeah, Chris Henry Jr., this kid is a cold wide receiver. He's the, he's also the third best player in the class of 2026, so it's not like he's just a good wide receiver. He's one of the best players in the country. I, that, ooh, bro, this kid, this kid is elite. This kid is elite. Got great hands, great body control, can just flat, like, there's a reason why he is a five-star recruit. Like, this kid is just screaming talent. Keep on working across the middle. Find the soft spot, and there you go. Yeah, and you already know, Ohio State's gonna turn him into an absolute star. Way to come back in. And last but certainly not least, if you guys have been, might be, have to be a little bit older to remember this guy, but remember Achilles Smith at Oregon, who was absolutely dominating, was an All-American in college football, ended up being the third overall pick in the NFL draft? Well, this is his son, Achilles Smith Jr. He is a six foot five, 200 pound, four star quarterback in the class of 2025, and he's the seventh best quarterback in the class. Big arm, this kid, yo, he, he can throw the ball. To be able to make that throw is impressive. Yeah, he has got a strong, strong arm. I would love to see him clean up his mechanics a little bit. They're just like, overall, like, I think his technique needs to be polished up a little bit. But I mean, you're not making a throw like this. I mean, he's throwing this from the 25, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, a 40 yard rope to the sideline. Like that's a dot right there. Yeah, and then he just got, he's got elite level arm talent. I mean, this kid, whatever throw you need him to make, he can make. It's just more gonna be about the consistency. Get going, get going. Oh, and then he's got some wheels too, okay. And then he's got a little bit of speed in the tank, let's go. Let it fly. Yeah, I see Achilles Smith. Yo, he, there's a reason why he's one of the best quarterbacks in the class of 2025. So those are four NFL legends whose sons are now dominating the high school ranks. I think that, hey, out of all of them, it's quite clear that Chris Henry Jr. is the most talented out of all of them. I think that he has the potential to even be better than his dad. Like that level of route running, and I misspoke. He's actually six foot five, 185 pounds. This kid is huge. Huge as a sophomore, he has all the upside in the world. But I want to hear from y'all. Who are you guys? First off, we, we brought up some old names in the football space. Who were you guys like? Oh snap! Like that, like that was a cool little flashback to hear their name. Uh, for me, that was Brian Urlacher. I was like, bro, Brian Urlacher's son's playing. Brian Urlacher, that dude. I used to watch a lot of Bears games, and that he was just absolutely flying around, just taking everybody's head off. I want to hear from y'all though. Comment your thoughts down below. Leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. We drop videos each and every single day. It also helps more than you will ever be able to understand. We're trying to get to 260,000 subscribers. So if you want to be that 260,000 subscriber, hit that subscribe button right now. I love and appreciate all y'all. If nobody has told you this today, you matter. Know that you mean more to this world than you will ever be able to understand. I know that it can be hard sometimes to go through life and, you know, we get caught up in the, oh, you know, oh, uh, yeah, I gotta go to work, I gotta go to school, and then you just kinda get caught up in this routine and you never really take a second to self-evaluate. Know that you do matter. And if you ever just feel like nobody else cares, know that Jesus Christ cares about you more than you ever cared about yourself and more than you will ever be able to understand. Know that Jesus Christ has always been there with you through the thick and thin, through the highs and lows. The number one thing is that we always just have to be able to acknowledge him. And when we acknowledge him, so many beautiful things happen just always just open your heart up to jesus and watch how watch how just your life makes a change for the better love and appreciate all y'all and i will catch you guys in the next video ciao